Hello and welcome to the final installment of our Burnout Paradise 120 Billboards Guide. In this video we're going to make our final trip up the mountain and we've got a long way to go, just a few more boards really, but then we have to go up the mountain again to make our final descent down to 120 and it's quite the fun ride if you can keep it clean. Well, first up, <laughs> we got to get back on track. So we just finished at the airfield, and we're going to be taking our first right. And we break through this gate. It's the first thing you see. It's super obvious. You just keep breaking through the gates that you get lined up with, and you just do a U-turn. Pretty easy stuff so far. Turn around and go back. And we need to, like, the, the gates really point you in the right direction. I got unfortunate, uh, just a little unlucky with the traffic there. But no big deal. Yep, it's pretty easy to see where you need to go at this point in the run. Just bust through. And we continue. We need to take our second right. So it's a little misleading. If you're... Just the rest of the run, it felt like we were taking our first right all the time. So we're going back up the mountain. The SI7's kind of harassing me and I keep running into traffic, it's getting a little frustrated, so I go ahead and take them down at this point. I'm just tired of them, I don't want to deal with them. Alright, so it's easy to tell where this board is, easy turnaround, nice. So there's one last little shortcut that's uh, that I'm going to point out for this run. It's right there, we need to go down there, it saves us a nice chunk of time. And it puts us on a good line for uh, where we're going. So we have another super jump to do, as much as we hate doing super jumps, they have cutscenes and we're not in an event, so we have to watch the cutscenes, and this is like the most, I don't know, anticlimactic one. So we're just going to the upstairs of this barn, and you need to be, I'll take this jump slightly to the right, and oh my gosh, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend uh, going for that, but I'll take it, sweet barrel roll action. Alright, so for this board, we need to slow down once we land because we're about to go for a stunt run. The reason we're going for this stunt run is we're going to finally make use of a uh, event reset, which teleports you back to the most recently uh, attempted, or even completed, uh, run. So I'm going to get the last couple boards, then teleport back up to here. And you'll see what it does. It's it's pretty it's pretty convenient. It saves about uh, saves more than like ten seconds, I think. Wow, that's risky maneuvers right there. Anyways, we go left side. You can see these boards coming. Uh, you know, I don't feel like they're all that hidden. I don't need to put a bunch of arrows on the screen to show you where these are. All right, one last board before we make our ascension back up the mountain. If I can get my butter mobile straight, jeez. All right, you can uh, you can actually do this a lot faster than I did. I'm not used to going through the menuing. All right, so it puts us back <clears throat> back here, and it gives us a full boost bar, and it gets rid of a good chunk of the traffic. So you get in a good position, you get lower traffic, and you get a full boost bar. It's kind of a win-win-win. And we have two super jumps coming up. Uh, if we're if we're able to maintain our start run, we don't have to watch the super jump cutscenes, which is really nice. So I tried to take the jump just to have some extra boost, and I somehow rode the rode the rail, which is pretty frustrating. Oh well. So you go inside, take the first little cut through, and just go straight. This last downhill run is super, super straight. So there was a cutscene we didn't have to watch. And I, I of course, this footage is sped up. Now, uh, after you hit, hit that board, you want to go into the underground tunnel. And this is all pretty simple. And of course, it, it puts you right in line for the board. And you're going to go off the road again. And we're going to go down into the tunnel. And you have to slow down a lot. I didn't slow down enough when I did this. You got to slow down so much to get that. It's a little frustrating. <laughs> Uh, you almost feel like you're gonna miss it, like you're gonna crash because you're going so slow. That's it's pretty frustrating. All right, so that was an unfortunate landing, really bad, and it's gonna end my. This is like our terrible, terrible error uh, because I'm ending a stunt run and having to watch that little cutscene, 
and get all this space, or having to watch all that cutscene whenever, I, if I would have just ended the run normally, I wouldn't have to watch that cutscene. That was an extra five seconds on top of crashing. Oh well. So now we just take the last little bit of, of the downhill, just hug the right wall up until that point, and now we're going to take the cut in on the left. And these are all pretty easy uh, cut throughs to get. Honestly, I don't feel the need to really point them out in excess. And here's our final board of the round. And time. So that's whenever we would hit our timer. We're done. The achievement's unlocked. Uh, if you're in a stunt run, it won't have this cutscene. But time's done whenever you get that 120th board. So even if you had to watch the cutscene afterwards, it wouldn't count against you, so that's all right. All right, folks, so that wraps up the 120 billboard runs. And I've broken them up into the segments that, you know, how I learned it and how I practiced it. If you have any questions about the run, please feel free to ask in the comments or send me a message. If you want to join us for SRL, uh, just send me a message. Uh, I think it'd be a little bit easier, and then we can get to get coordinated on Steam. Um, anyways, thanks everybody for watching, and uh, hopefully we'll see some more folks join the Burnout Speedrun community. This has been TDF Sumo. Thanks.